folks' bunny love, Kim Kardashian removed fake nipple from her Met Gala dress because Kanye West said it was too sexy. Let's get into this story. It sounds like he's trying to control her, but I don't know. Let's, let's get in and see what's going on. Kanye West wasn't the biggest fan of wife Kim Kardashian's figure-hugging 2019 Met Gala dress calling it too sexy. Kardashian just revealed that the dress could have been sexier, but she compromised after West made his case. West made it known that he wasn't a fan of the look, remarking, I went through this transition where being a rapper, looking at all these girls and looking at my wife like, oh, my girl needs to just be like the other girls showing their bodies off. I didn't realize that was affecting my soul and my spirit as someone who is married and the father of now about to be four kids a corset is a form of underwear it's hot for who though he added you are my wife and it affects me when your pictures are too sexy Hmm. kardashian said west gave her bad anxiety kardashian was rattled by west's comments but stood her ground on the matter explaining so the night before the met you're going to come in here and say that you're not into a corset vibe you're giving me really bad anxiety you knew last night i had really bad anxiety and i don't need any more negative energy and for you say you're now into me not wearing a tight dress she also couldn't understand why he found her dress too sexy pointing out you built me up to be this sexy and confidence and all this stuff. And because you're on a journey and transformation doesn't mean I'm in the same spot with you. Oh my. Oh, okay. So she basically saying that, you know, you on this Jesus is King Christian trying to transform yourself into holier than thou type journey. But we're not on the same page. But when you're married, aren't you supposed to be on the same page about most things? I can understand not agreeing with everything but that's your husband so what are you gonna do like you're just gonna not be into what he's into in terms of religion I always thought that and I don't like I swear I don't like to get into conversations or any type of talk or topics about religion but at the same time they're gonna be a train wreck if they don't see or have similar views in terms of what's classy, what's conservative, all of this type of stuff, if it's based around religion. If it's based on religion, they're not going to get along. They're going to keep clashing. He's doing this new thing. She's not really with it right now. But I thought I read a blog not too long ago that said that Kim was thinking about trying to convert and be on the same type thing he's on religiously. So I think I'm going to do a video about that. That'll be the next one after this one. Might as well talk about that in a separate video. I mean, it's all relating, but still on the subject of this. Moving on. Kardashian compromised about the dress. It's now come to light that there was another element of the dress that Kardashian removed in an effort to make her husband a little bit happier. Well, I mean, that's her husband. Some people are going against the fact that, you know, um, he's being controlling and and I do still say he's being a little controlling but you know why not why why not give in a little bit that, that is your husband I mean damn just if it's no more than just to keep his mouth shut give in a little bit dang <laughs> okay during an appearance on the real Kardashian explained well the dress initially since I was wet coming out of the water there were nipples attached to it she added, I think with editing, I don't know. I'm not sure if we actually put that part into that fight on keeping up with the Kardashians. So he was really certain that he didn't want that on the dress and he mentioned it multiple times and that was still on there. So we did have that discussion. The reality star said ultimately decided to take the fake nipples off the dress explaining, I obviously want to be appropriate for my children. And there's enough for them to see already. I could tone it down a little bit. I totally compromised. So he got on her about the children. He used the children as a way to try to get her to... I mean, he probably does feel that way, but he used that to get her to comply. 
She told the co-host of the show that she is supporting her husband's religious journey, noting, I do think that, you know, he is my husband, so I obviously want to honor him and what he's feeling. And he's been going through this, his life change, and it's mostly about the kids. Yeah, I just pretty much said that. I said, you know, that's her husband and she's trying to support him, even though she doesn't fully agree. Well, just yet. That's still her husband. She's trying to go along with it. One, to keep his mouth shut. For two, because that's hubby and it's the right thing to do. You know what I mean? So, okay. All right, you guys, that's my time. I'm out of here. Follow me on all social media platforms. The ending of this video will have just where you can find me on the net. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube here. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And check me out for more celebrity gossip talk videos and reality show reviews. Peace and blessings. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy.